here with my layout for build a page as well as may I scrap lift you. This is layout number four and I'm kind of combining the two series and scrap lifting all of the ladies from the series. So every day I'm picking somebody new. Today is Shannon's turn. So I showed you that really fun layout at the beginning of the video. Um, I really loved the pattern in the background paper. Now on hers, that's actually the paper, that's how it was. But obviously I don't have that paper and I don't really have another one that kind of has that same pattern. These like squiggly lines that you could, you know, kind of interpret as a horizon with maybe mountains or valleys and that kind of thing or however you kind of looked at it. For me, I kind of saw like the waves of, of water and so I thought this would work really well for this particular build a page um, kit because I have my little niece at the splash park. So it's kind of got that water theme to it already. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of build that pattern in my background. <laughs> and then I also just love the sequins that Shannon uses and the yellows. Oops, I just dropped my phone, sorry. Um, the yellow tones. Hers are much more sort of those earthy tones, but I have lots of yellow in this page kit, so it was just meant to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and pair those two. So the papers, the pattern papers that you see here, um, all of them except for one, I'll show you which one when we kind of get to it. They are from uh, Close to My Heart. I think I say the name of the collection in the actual build a page uh, kit process that I have. So those videos are up. You can watch my process of putting my kits together. I can't remember offhand what the name of this collection is, but all of those pattern papers are part of that collection, except for the one that kind of, well, it's the one at the very top and bottom of my little uh, like pattern here that I've created. Um, that is from either Simple Stories or Summer Lights. I can't remember which one. Uh, but I just kind of liked that it had some of the pinks and the, the yellows and it just gave a different look to the, the other papers that I had. So I threw that in there. I only had a teeny tiny piece of it anyways. Um, and so what you saw me do, oh, and sorry, I should also add, I kind of, oh, there's my baby. <laughs> he was looking at the picture of his cousin Harper and he was counting all the Harpers and then he was like, I need to go find more Harpers and off he went. <laughs> um. Okay, just a tiny minor distraction there, but it was a cute one. Um, so this yellow paper is just some plain basil cardstock. It is textured, but it's just really plain. I just thought the, the yellow is sort of this warm, nice sunny yellow, I guess you could say, and it matches the rest of the papers really well. So I cheated a little bit and went into my stash and pulled this one out so that I could kind of have that frame around my layout just like Shannon has. Um, and then also here I'm matting my photo. So I did actually get it so that I could have that chunk to be able to map my photo as well. Um, and then I'm just going to build a few layers here with some of the scraps that I have left over. And now to build that background, I didn't really show you the whole process because there is a reason for it. So I sort of showed you a little bit how I laid a piece down that was a little bit larger and then put some of the different strips on top and sort of built the, the pattern that way. And then I kind of did it off screen because there's no right way to do it. And so even if you tried to copy exactly what I was doing, you're not gonna get the same result. You're just not gonna cut your papers the same way that I do in the same width and you know the same curves to them or anything like that. So it legitimately was just a matter of putting down the papers, creating the layers. I just wanted you to be able to see sort of a different strip of each of the patterns. So I just kind of put them 
um, the way that felt right to me. I could have used more. I could have used less. It just, it's each time it's going to be completely different. So I just started with some of the larger pieces and kind of fit them together and then took some of the thinner strips and kind of filled in some of the gaps. That's all I did. It was actually quite simple once I kind of figured it out in my head, but I didn't show you because I did fiddle around with it and I just I just know that if you guys wanted to go ahead and try it, it's going to look totally different. You're going to find your own kind of way of doing it because your papers are going to be completely different, cut completely different and 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 have different shapes to them than mine do. So you just kind of have to piece it all together until you get something that looks right. You could do it on a piece of paper if you wanted to kind of glue things down. I didn't go ahead and do that because I wasn't sure how I wanted to move things around. But um, once I kind of got a couple pieces into place, I just tuck, tucked a few little bits of adhesive in to kind of hold them down. Um, then added a few more to, you know, kind of glued down a few strategic spots here and there until I had it all together and then I could glue them all down really well. Uh, so it's just having fun playing a bit of a puzzle putting it all together but I kind of like how it turned out and I'd love to do a whole piece of paper like this um sometime soon <laughs> so that is why I didn't show you that but you can see here everything else is pretty simple um I made sure to do the layers of my photos and get my photo down first because I really wanted to make sure that my sequins had time to dry before I started adding extra embellishments and trying to put stickers on top of them and that kind of thing. So once I have my picture in the place where I want it to be and I've got some of the layers tucked in behind there, I just took my glue and you saw me kind of smudge it all over. I made sure there was a good coating of it and kind of, you know, have it everywhere that I wanted it to go, wherever I wanted a sequin to be. And then I just sprinkled pretty much that whole pack of sequins into the glue. And then I walked away for an hour. So I didn't fuss with it. I didn't, you know, I, I think I patted it down just a little bit to make sure that everything that could stick to some glue was actually in the glue and that nothing was kind of standing up in a funny way or anything like that but I walked away for about an hour it's the um, quick dry adhesive but I really just wanted to make sure because on paper it dries very quickly but when you're sticking it to especially um, like the sequin is like a plastic material it sometimes needs just that little extra bit to make sure it really adheres well and so when I came back, I just picked up the layout and kind of tapped it very gently and let everything fall. And so you can see in, on the right hand side there, that pile of sequins is actually what came off of the layout. And so then I could just go back in and if there were little gaps or anything, uh, fill that in with a little bit of glue and kind of add a few sequins here and there, but the majority of the sequins stuck that very first time and I didn't have to uh, fill into too many holes. And of course, you can do that in any way that you want that you think works good for you. You could even add, you know, another layer of glue and sprinkle even more sequins on. But I just really liked how kind of fun and different that is from Shannon's layout. And I thought the blue sequins would really look like that splash of water because obviously Harper's playing at the water park. So after I got those sequins down and everything was dried again, I really wanted to make sure they were dry well so I, I, I could go ahead and kind of fuss and fiddle and you saw me pull up that, that one piece that says in summer life is good. I, I knew I would probably do that a couple of times. So I made sure those sequins were down really well and then just went through the sticker sheet. It's a Dear Lizzie sticker sheet, kind of a summer um, sheet. Pulled off a bunch of the stickers that I thought would work. I got that piece from the cut apart sheet that I really wanted to get used up that says in summer life is good. That was the whole jumping off point for creating this kit. So I'm really happy that I got that used. And now I'm just finishing it up with a few splatters. I don't think I love the splatters. I probably wouldn't do them again if I could go back and redo this layout. But I just thought they were kind of fun, splashy 
I don't know, pops of color. But um, yeah, that's it. What a cute, fun layout. It's so pretty and summery and I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Go and check out Moira and Shannon and Christy and Kristen and Sheila and everyone joining in for May. I scrap lift you today and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye.